In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a very simple U-Trips defense that I really like for the current meta right now, defending some of the most popular things you're going to be seeing uh, whenever you go up against the U-Trips formation. This is out of our Nickel 3-3 Cub. I do believe that the Nickel 3-3 Cub has very quickly found itself to be one of the most versatile defenses in the game yet again. And uh, we're going to be in the 46 playbook. Now, if you are watching this and you are interested in learning more about the 3 3 Cub, I would encourage you to check out my 3 3 Cub defensive ebook. You could find that by joining our Patreon. Uh, Patreon members get access to all of my Man 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as all of the updates to those ebooks and any new ebooks that we release. We're going to be dropping a brand new ebook later today uh, out of the bunch tight end. So if you want to check that out, we've got, I think that'll make our 16th offensive and defensive ebook this year uh, and we have a ton more planned for our members so make sure that you're in there it's only ten dollars to sign up and like i said it'll get you access to everything all of the ebooks all that stuff we're actually working on some uh some different types of content as well that i think will be more conceptual uh for our members that we can put into all of our ebooks as well for you guys so just be on the lookout for that but anyways if you're not in the patreon i'd really encourage you to consider joining for just ten dollars you get access to everything over there so I want to set some audibles real quick out of U-Trips, um, and we're going to be talking about a couple of things uh, in this breakdown that U-Trips is going to do. Some of the big picture stuff uh, that you're going to get whenever you play this formation. And uh, what we want to do first and foremost is when we go into our coaching adjustments, we're going to put this on the man line. We want to put this on play receiver, and then we want to put this on speed Option defense on conservative. And then lastly, we want to make sure that our zone coverage is set to match. Now, the audibles that we're going to be setting here, uh, really the only thing you need to do is put the match coverage in here. And then whatever you want to put in this position is up to you. Uh, you can put Tampa 2 in there. Um, I honestly don't really know uh, the best thing here for the defense. Personally, I think really probably the best thing, honestly, is cover two, just so that you can get access to all the coverages. Um, because the main play we want to be in when we're in 3-3 three, three Cub is Mike Blitz zero. It's the best play in the formation this year because they don't they no longer have cover on robber, unfortunately. Um, I really wish they would bring that back, but they don't. Okay. So uh, we want to come out in nickel 3-3. Why do we want to come out in nickel 3-3? Two reasons. The first one is we're going to be able to get safeties at linebacker in this formation, which is going to make our blitzes come in faster, and it's also going to put better coverage players on the field. The second reason we want to come out of nickel 3-3, though, is for the adjustments it's going to give us. We're going to be able to cross man our linebackers. We're going to be able to have a more streamlined adjustment menu than we would if we come out in nickel 3-3 cub as it is. Okay, so that is the reasoning um, that we're in the 46 book, and we're going to come out and cover four drop. So uh, what we're going to do here is we want to use her on this middle linebacker, and we're just going to audible into Mike Blitz Zero. Now, the really simple defense that we're going to create here is we're going to blitz the U-trips, and then what we want to do is we want to walk this safety down to the tight end, and then we're going to stand right about here. And what you're going to notice is if they try to throw this quick throw wheel, um, they're going to throw an interception nine times out of ten. It'll at least get batted. It's very difficult to throw that snap through a wheel. Most people, when they're in U-trips, they're going to consider to try to hit that, especially if they feel uh, the pressure. So you'll see here that if they don't throw the snap throw, um, if they don't throw the snap throw wheel, uh, then what's going to happen is they're going to have to hold the ball. And them having to hold the ball is going to result in us getting a sack, as you can see right here. It's very difficult to move the ball quick. Now, there is a route that they can throw that I wanted to go over in this video, how to defend it, because I think a lot of people are struggling with it currently. And that is it, this Pat's Y out. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to block our running back, and then we're going to just basically isolate this wheel route. What you'll see is this corner is going to be so far inside, and the fact that it's cover zero, they're going to be able to throw that against man-to-man -man a lot. And, and obviously, they probably should throw it even faster than what I just did. So, again, I'll show it to you one more time, and then we'll talk about how to defend it. So, you know, again, we're in Mike Blitz zero, and they're going to motion this guy across. Maybe they block, you know, do some pass protection or whatever. Uh, but what you'll see is if I throw this right uh, as soon as possible, that is um, – that's a very common thing that will happen. It's really the primary way I think that people in U-Trips want to attack blitzing defenses. So what we want to do here in our adjustments is we always want to walk this guy down. We always want to, if we're going to blitz him, we want to have something like this. 
And then, um, you know, our coverage adjustments could be something like this. I don't know why I'm baseline. I didn't mean to be baselined. I accidentally baselined. That's why they move. Uh, but anyways, so what we want to do on the right, though, is we want to manually, individually, so the way you do that is you're going to hit triangle or Y on Xbox. You're going to hit X on PlayStation or A on Xbox. And then you're going to hit the icon of the player that you want to individually shade. We're going to individually shade the slot, which is R1, to the outside. We're going to shade them to the right. Okay, what you're going to see is this is going to put my player in a significantly better position even when they motion this guy across. So what you'll see here again, we're going to just keep him. Uh, we might have to manually, re-manually shade him as soon as that happens. But now you see my player is able to actually defend it, and I didn't have to shade underneath or do any of those things. So really simple adjustment. I want to really quickly point out something that I think is true out of U-Trips and out of Bunch. You'll see here that I'm going to shade him outside. As soon as they motion, though, it's going to mess up. You're going to see something interesting. When they motion, I want you to watch the slot. You're going to see here that that slot corner goes inside. You need to reshade him outside whenever they do that. That will fix it, and he will actually play that pretty well. And that right there is a click on. I'm probably going to be able to click on and make a play on that ball. So this creates a very powerful defense because they can't throw the running back off the snap. So the initial thing they're going to want to do is try to block him. If you block your running back against this specific defense right here, a lot of times we're going to get pressure and loop around the running back. We teach you how to do that and how to make that happen every single time in the ebook. Okay, It's not as simple as you're going to see. You'll see a lot of people run this defense and they actually won't be able to recreate what I just showed you. Um, they will try to get pressure and the running back will be able to pick it up. But we're able to with this formation and with what we've been able to do here, um, turn this defense into something where they have to they have to block a receiver or a tight end uh, to pick up the pressure. So if their solution is to try to block the running back, we're going to blitz them all game long. Um, because it's very, very hard uh, to get around that. So, anyways, those are some of my favorite, favorite adjustments uh, for U trips specifically. Uh, and then also how to adjust when they motion out of U trips, which I think is something that people really don't understand um, as to why you know they're they're not able to get the pressure they were thinking they would get. And the reasoning is primarily because they're, when they motion, you have to reshade your player on that sideline. Okay, so really simple tip, I think. But also, I think, really, really effective and will help you a lot when you're talking about defending U trips. If you want to learn this entire defense, I believe that 335 Cub um, is really, really, really powerful. And I would really encourage you to consider learning that. The ebook is going to be in our Patreon. So by becoming a Patreon member today, you're going to get access to all of our ebooks, including this Nickel 33 Cub, as well as all the updates. So if you want to sign up for it, head down to the description of the video and click the link down below.